I talked about how painful this game was. How, uh, how did you guys find a way to get it done, and, and what does that mean for you guys? Uh, well, obviously, you know, we know the history of, of the rivalry, and uh, you know, it's, uh, it's not a secret, but uh, with the last five games, we're only five against USC, so this, uh, this definitely meant a lot to uh, end this end the regular season on a, yeah. on a good note against a team that we, um, in the last few games, haven't had some success against, so it was, uh, it was definitely a, a meaningful win. And, and Jaime, you were kind of willing the guys along there I mean, I thought about it the whole week, you know, going into it. Uh, we're at home, it's our last home game. Uh, senior night, you know, I really wanted to, uh, you know, do whatever I can to help win for the seniors, honestly. You know, it's our last night here, and, uh, you know, there's no way we were going to let it happen here at, uh, on our court against USC. So, you know, I'm just happy we got the win. You poured into the students afterward. What did that feel like in that moment? It felt good. <laughs> I mean, you know, to get that win at home, last one, uh, just show our appreciation for the student section. Jules, you were honored for senior night and everything for the game. Uh, did Do you know what your plans are for next year? And then also just what, what was the environment like knowing that this could be your last game in Poly with the fans and everything? Uh, it was amazing. Uh, the environment was amazing. Uh, it was great to have a uh, you know, walk out with my family, my loved ones. Um, it always means a lot to have my uh, those close to me at the games. and. Um, but yeah, it was definitely a, a memorable night. And as for your first question, I'm not sure. I'm just taking it, taking it one day at a time, and you know, more focused on our games ahead. I know we have a lot of basketball ahead, right? so um, just just trying to get rest, prepare for the games ahead, and you know, be there for my team so we can win games. Hi, man. You got uh, 57 points in the last two games. You feel like you're in March mode? <laughs> Um, I just think I've been feeling a lot better. Uh, yeah, I guess we're in March, so I guess you can say that. But I mean, honestly, I've just been feeling really good as far as you know, my body, uh, my ankles are doing a lot better right now. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm excited. It's time to turn it up and do another year. Right now. Yeah, I was gonna ask that. How are the ankles feeling? You know, as opposed to like- They're feeling a lot better. I got it done, thank God. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, they're doing better. I, I, like I said, I just continue to do the same thing I've been doing with Tyler. He's been helping me a lot and you know, trying to do whatever I can to, you know, I take it for granted. You, you never know, you know, when you know they might, they might mess up again, might tweak it. So I'm just, you know, taking it all in. Yeah, for both of you, do you feel like this team is ready for the NCAA tournament in the second part? Do you feel anything like last year at this time? I think we are ready, um, but obviously, you know, the, the tough road game that we've been there before, and, and we know how hard it is to win in those environments. Um, so we're definitely focused and. You know, locked in going into both the Pac-12 tournament and, and the NCAA tournament. So we're definitely all in tune and, in, and, and ready for these tournaments. And uh, did you feel any shades of last year? Nah, I would say no because that's March is a whole different feeling. I mean, this is just one game. But when you get into March, I mean, that's that's the real deal. It's do or die. So we're not there yet, but I mean, you know, like Joel said, we're we're getting there. We're getting prepared. You guys had one turnover as a team. It's the fewest on record for UCLA basketball. How did that, how did, what did you guys do to, to, to do that? It's a pretty amazing stat. Yeah, I think just, um, you know, sharing the ball, uh, you know, not trying to force anything, really. Uh, ball movement, I think, was really good. I think we ran our offense really well tonight. We were able to get open shots and get, um, you know, move the ball with these. So I think really just playing, playing good offense. Body blows. Yeah, body blows. Body, body blows. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't think we closed it out very, you know, very well. Uh, we, we had a, I think, 10 point lead, something like that. Uh, we didn't close it out well, but you know, it happens sometimes, and that's why you have to clean it up. And you know, we learn from it, and so we can get prepared and move on to March. Pack all time. The uh, the end of the game kind of had shades. The past few times you played USC, just kind of losing things down the stretch, like you were talking about. But did those games pop into your head at all, thinking that you're not going to let it happen again, or was this just? in the moment going out to win the game? 
I mean, I would say it's kind of just like in the moment thing. I wasn't really thinking about the past games. I was just like, oh my God, we can't let this one slip away right now. There's no way we can let it happen. And so, you know, we put a lot of effort going back down on the defensive end and, you know, doing everything we could to get to stop. Jules, what are your thoughts on what's going on? as much as possible and you know you got to see the, the the output 